Hello, I am Mark Mansfield, the Vice President of Energy Resources for Tucson Electric Power. I want to congratulate SARCEF for putting on an amazing 65th SARCEF Science and Engineering Fair. At TEP, we believe science and engineering are critical to respond to the needs of our community, our country, and the world. All of the students that participated in SARCEF are helping improve the world by your research. Congratulations to you all. You are being recognized today because you're willing to take risks, think big, and develop innovative ideas. The next generation of engineers and scientists are really important to everyone. So we need you to keep learning and developing and searching for that next big question you want to answer. Now I want to take a moment to thank all the parents because without your support, much of this work would not have been completed. I know this takes time, energy, and patience. You are their coaches and their number one fans. I hope that you realize what a difference you're making. Thank you for making all of this possible. I also need to thank the schools, teachers, and staff, and all the volunteers at SARCEF who believe in the importance of developing our future leaders and innovators. SARCEF has events year-round to support their mission, and I would encourage everyone to become more familiar with what SARCEF can do to support our students and teachers. Thanks to everyone, congratulations to the winners, and I look forward to seeing you in person next year. We'd like to thank SARSEF staff, volunteers, judges, sponsors, and participants for pivoting from a planned program to an improv solution so we could still have a successful science and engineering fair. When SARSEF approached property villains with a problem, we and SARSEF staff came up with a tech solution promptly so the show can go on. Using our collective brain power, we put together a remote interview station and produced an online show so we could still showcase the students' hard work and dedication. This year's record-breaking SARSEF projects has shown the, us the importance of the exchange of information and how technology can help us all. Our doors are always open to anyone in need of a technology solution. Our contact information is below, so please don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks again to the wonderful staff, volunteers, judges, and participants at SARSEF, and we'll see you all next year. Welcome to the 65th annual SARSEF Science and Engineering Fair powered by Tucson Electric Power. I'm Liz Baker Bowman and I'm the CEO of SARSEF. I'm Julie Hubert, I'm the COO of SARSEF. And we're coming to you today from the Tucson Convention Center in a whole new way. Welcome to the first ever SARSEF Awards Ceremony that you can enjoy from the comfort of your home, your school, or wherever you choose to celebrate. Now that's not all that's been different this year. In response to the COVID-19 outbreak, we made modifications to ensure that we could all be a part of a happy and healthy SARSEF Fair. We had two really hard decisions to make. First, we wish more than anything that we could be with you in person today to cheer you on and celebrate, to tell you how much we look forward to seeing you every year and to thank you for your work. Perhaps the hardest decision was canceling middle school interviews. Middle school students, we missed you out on the floor, but please know how much care our judges took to review projects in your absence. Yeah. We also gave high school students the option of remote interviews. This would not have been possible without our friends and partners at Proper Villains. We cannot thank them enough for sharing their time and technological expertise, not to mention really saving our fair this year. They also made it possible for us to celebrate with you uh, remotely uh, with our, and be able to recognize you as our SARSEF winners. So thank you so much, Proper Villains. Another update from this year's fair is that we have now introduced, for the first time ever, the official SARSEF handshake. Liz and I will now demonstrate two thumbs up for science. <laughs> now, on to the show. Today we are honoring a truly remarkable group of scientists and engineers. You are the very best minds in Southern Arizona. You will go on to solve our world's greatest problems. 
you will make our planet a better and safer place for all of us to live. And best of all, you aren't waiting to grow up to make a difference. You are receiving an award today because you already have. That's right. You are here today to celebrate the best of the best. We had a record-breaking number of projects this year, 2,225. That means that you just competed in one of the largest science fairs in the entire <laughs> world. 60,000 students from all over Southern Arizona competed to get their projects in this room, where projects represent the work of 7,507 students. But as you know, making it to SARSF Fair does not mean you win an award. Only the top projects are honored here. So if you are recognized today, it means that you were one of the best scientists and engineers in Southern Arizona. Let's give that a round of applause. <laughs> Absolutely, right? yes. give yourselves Fantastic. a round of applause. <laughs> we have a very special guest who has been so supportive of SARSF scientists and engineers. It is an honor for me to introduce Dr. Betsy Cantwell, Senior Vice President of Research, Innovation, and Impact at the University of Arizona. Hello, welcome to the 65th anniversary of the SARSEF Science and Engineering Fair. We are beyond thrilled that you all have chosen to compete here and to come here and to participate in this process. My name is Betsy Cantwell. I'm the Senior Vice President for Research and Innovation at the University of Arizona and this fair represents all of the research ideas for young people, but also all of the innovation. I am thrilled to see you all here um, and to have you participate in what is, for you, I am sure, an unusual experience of virtualizing your hard work on a dime and demonstrating through that process what you thought about, what you did, how you did it, and how you came to the results you came to. We really appreciate your willingness to, to both participate in the science and participate in the process. I want to tell you why I think this is so important for people like you. It's important because you are living in the middle of a science problem, and you are the generation that's going to solve that problem, you're going to solve the problem of climate change, you're going to solve all of the kinds of large-scale, system-level, really complex things that are coming our way. All solvable, all issues that you all have, will, and do address, and we support everything that you do so that you can help us all think through what's the viable, important, good, and well-lived future for all of us. So you all know the process. I just want to tell you how much we at the University of Arizona support everything that you do, and we are more than proud to be a prime supporter of this science fair and of each and every one of you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Cantwell. We are so fortunate to work with the University of Arizona and for all you have done for SARSF scientists and engineers. SARSF has a tradition at our award ceremony where you are able to stand up for the number of times that you have competed at the SARSF Fair, powered by TEP. We do this in order to honor the work that you've done and so that you can continue to be inspired to hopefully go on with your research. So since we have to do things a little bit differently this year, we want to still be able to do that and recognize you. Students who are watching, we still want you to stand and be honored. And family and friends, it's up to you to cheer extra loud for them. So, if this is your first year of doing a research project, whether you want it or not, any type of science or engineering project, can you stand up and give yourself the very best two thumbs up for science that you can? You took the plunge into the world of science and engineering, and you came out victorious. Now, if this is your second year completing a science and engineering project, stand up and feel proud that you nurtured your curiosity about the world around you. Third years, be proud that you are noticing science is all around us. Fourth year, 
You know your work is educating everyone you share it with. If this is your fifth year, you have helped others make decisions based on data, data that you collected. Sixth year, you inspire students younger than you to try their best at science. Seventh year, you are starting to make connections between all of the different sciences you've learned about. Eighth year, your science isn't just a project, it's what you love to do. Ninth year, you are taking your science to the next level and thinking critically about how to solve big ideas and how to relate to what you're observing in the world. Tenth year, you know how much your science can make the world a better place. Eleventh year, your science isn't just about the path here and now, it's about the future and your career path. Twelfth year, you are at the top of the fair and you can see all the great opportunities ahead of you. And finally, if this is your 13th time doing a science or engineering research project, please stand up and be proud. You started as a kindergartner and you went on to ask questions about the world around you and making discoveries each and every year. You are incredible and you are the role models for the preschoolers who completed projects this year who can stand up in the year 2033 and say that they conducted research for 14 years in a row. But, but students, could you have done this alone? No way. So we need your help saying thank you. It takes everyone to grow our future. So adults, please stand when you hear your role in creating the next generation of critical thinkers and problem solvers. Parents, family, and friends, please stand up. And now students, we need your help. On the count of three, say thank you extra loud. One, two, three, thank you. Now, judges, volunteers, and board members, you have spent countless hours making this fair and all of SARSEP's fairs possible. Thank you. Sponsors and donors make our work possible. We are a nonprofit, just like our title sponsor, Tucson Electric Power, who makes this fair possible. And others, like APS Foundation. And City of Tucson. University of Arizona. The Wallace Research Foundation, Midstar Partners, LLC, Raytheon, Thomas R. Brown Foundations, IBM, the University of Arizona Wyant College of Optical Sciences, Karis Charitable Trust, Bayer, Texas Instruments, Cox, the Gutenstein Family Foundation, Freeport Macmurin Foundation, the Arizona Daily Star, Roche, First and River Storage, Stone Canyon Community Foundation, Verizon, and so many more. <laughs> and so many of you who donate individually to make this amazing event and all other programs possible. Finally, last but certainly not least, we, could we have our teachers, our fair directors, and our administrators please stand. They work so hard for you every day. Let's give them the biggest, loudest round of applause and thank you of all. From, From all, all of us at SARSEF, thank you. you. If you feel inspired to get involved with SARSEF as a volunteer, educator, judge, or donor, please let us know. We have only lasted 65 years because of the support that we receive from our community. Go ahead and find out more information on our website, sarsef.org. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce our dynamic master educators who should look familiar to many of you. These two have been in 247 classrooms this year and their work has helped train over 70,000 students like you this year alone. Please welcome to the stage our masters of ceremonies, Brooke Meyer and Margaret Wilch. <laughs> 